The earliest written account of the measles dates back to Persia in the 9th century, attributed to the physician known as Razis. However, it wasn't until the 1750s that Francis Home of Edinburgh, Scotland, who was conducting experiments with inoculation at the time, observed that measles was caused by an infectious agent present in the patient's blood. In the early 20th century, measles became a reportable disease in the United States. During the first 10 years of reporting, there was an average of approximately 6,000 deaths per year in the U.S. alone. By the 1950s, measles was prevalent, with most children being infected by the time they were 15 years old. At that time, John Enders and Dr. Thomas Peebles were working on developing a vaccine, but they first needed to isolate the virus. However, they required blood samples infected with measles to achieve this. In 1954, during an outbreak in Boston, Massachusetts, they collected samples from sick children and eventually isolated measles from the blood of a 13-year-old boy named David Edmonston. The 1960s was a decade of immense significance in American history, in part due to the efforts of Enders and his team. They successfully developed the measles vaccine in 1963, which was later improved upon in 1968, creating the Edmonston Enders strain and this has since been the sole vaccine used in the United States. Enders was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for isolating the measles virus, but he declined it, unless his colleagues could also be included in the honor. Ultimately, in one of the most selfless acts in modern science, Enders' wish was granted, and he received the award alongside his co-recipients, Thomas Weller and Frederick Robbins. The current chapter of measles history is still being written, the measles vaccine has helped save countless lives, and in the year 2000, measles was declared eliminated in the United States. Unfortunately, this year, we've hit a record high for the number of measles cases in one year since it was declared eliminated. This has resulted in preventable suffering and loss of life. We will explore those challenges in videos to come.